Hey everyone, Big Mac here. Welcome back to what I believe is the last episode of a Bioshock. Anyway, I'm just goofing off here. Let's go and kill Mr. Fontaine because that's all we've got to do. We're in the proving grounds. What? Why do they call it? I mean, did Fontaine call it the proving grounds? Because that seems like a weird place to call the museum. But you know. <coughs> I guess when you're in charge of everything, you can call it whatever you want. Anyway, uh, we just finished escorting a little girl, a little sister, around the place. She was helping us get through the big doors because otherwise we, wouldn't, we weren't going to be able to. Um, again, I don't understand how that mechanic works entirely, but whatever. We got through the door. So we are dressed up as a big daddy. We got lots of health. Um, we got a little bit of... We got a... You know, uh, I had just enough Eve to not buy an upgrade. Hopefully I've got enough. Alright, that being said, um, I need to, let's see, where, how do I, how do I, okay, so I picked up in the last episode as well, I picked up what I thought was, or I picked up the little syringe from her, and so what I'm confused is how do I use that? Or is that just going to be like, use the thing and I'm just going to magically uh, belt it out? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't even know what he is in, in, anymore, so... Alrighty, let's push the button! Bye-bye! Loading Fontaine. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if this is a big place, a small place, if I'm gonna have to be chasing him around a bunch of stuff. I have no idea. This is the end. Anyway... Uh, my voice is still... I don't know what, what happened to my voice. I kind of had this like weird, congesty, scratchy throat kind of thing <coughs> past week. But anyway, what does the place look like? Wow! Okay, it's just one giant big room. Okay. Alright, now that I'm aware of that... I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. Oh, okay. Saving again. Fine. Um, why is... I see... Hi, Gladys. Hi, Glados. Alrighty. Fine. Um, I found you. You're right there. I found you. Okay. I mean, find Fontaine. Okay, why is there all this stuff around here? Uh, hello? Drain the atom from Fontaine. Go! Okay. Go now! Hit him with the needle! Okay, how do I... Uh... Alright, that's obviously... Okay. Oh! Because, can I... Is there a gatherer's garden in here for me? No, there is not. Alright. Okay, and there you are. Alright, this is going so far so well. Alright, I can I'm getting behind this. Alright, you've got fireballs, what do you friggin' do? And you can charge fast. Okay. So far, not too bad. Not bad, not bad. Alright, I can dodge. That's hooray. Hooray for dodging. Alright, anyway, if I can keep draining the atom from him. Alright, now you're an ice man. I will let's 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 if you're icy dude, let's try the uh Let's try the trap bolts. Uh oh. Mr. B, what? Wait, wait, there's a little sister in here? Why is there a little sister in here? Where is there a little sister in here? That's not good. Alright, I don't care if there's an alarm clock going on here. Alrighty. Okay. Get back up here. I think, are you up there again? Yeah, you are. Okay. 
All right, I'm getting hit, killed by something back here. What? No way! Okay, now I'm dead on the ground. I sent you topside. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. What you was? That life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up, and I tattooed inside your head. Now, if you don't call that family, what? I don't know what is. Oh, there's a the little sisters. Hi, little sisters. Oh, oh, they're gonna do okay. They're gonna try and drain more out of more of the stuff out of him. Oh, but I can't, I can't do anything though. I am. Oh my gosh. Okay. Be careful, little girls. Be careful. Oh man, they are like trying to suck all the atom out of him. But he's not. Well, I guess now he's dead. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna admit that fight went pretty easy. I gotta say. Hi. What's that? Is that a chip? And you refused it. Oh, that's and the what key. What did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. All right, so you I'm saved like... them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. Oh. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And since the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. Oh, wow. Okay. That's it? That's it? That's the whole game? No. Okay, well. I, okay. Well, then. Well. Alright, well, because I haven't shown the credits yet, and I guess now's a good time to go over the credits, and... Wow, okay. So again, I don't know what the different endings are in this game. Somebody just mentioned that there were different endings. So I don't know if that's the good ending or not, but whatever. Some people are like, oh no, you're playing on easy mode, you're not going to get this, the true ending. So I don't know what, what the ending is. Alright, I'm just going to have to look that up online on my own then. Um, that being said, what are my thoughts on this game? This game was pretty cool. Definitely not something that I would normally get into. You know, shooters are definitely not my thing. I would say the last shooter game that I really got into, you know, in, in terms of an FPS, was <laughs> GoldenEye 64. So, that being said, yeah, definitely not a thing that I would normally get into. But I think what helped me get interested in this game was the story behind it. You know, the... Uh, you know, developing the characters, and so it was a very well-written game in that sense, and that's what got me interested into it. And so I know that there are other games, you know, that kind of go along the same series. I know there are two other Bioshock games. I'm not really... I don't think I would be making LPs of those. Um, I may play them on my own eventually, but I don't need to. I don't think I'm going to right now. Apparently they were on sale on Steam, uh, back for 4th of July, and I missed it. So, unfortunately, I didn't miss that. But, um, that being said, I think this is a cool game. I think this, I, I've heard, you know, I've read a lot of good things about this game. Um, I know that there's, you know, a lot more games in this kind of story-driven FPS slash RPG genre. Again, I don't know how much, you know, things like the Halo games and Gears of War and that kind of stuff fall into the same category or not, but... May I look into those? I might. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't. Again, I don't know how long these graphics, these uh, these graphics, these credits are gonna go. Graphics for a 2007 game are awesome. I mean, I'm glad I was able to run them on my computer, on my laptop. Um, that being said, you know, I want to thank all the people who made this game. Obviously, um, I'm just gonna try and talk as long as I can over these credits because I have no idea how many people were involved in the making of this game. Probably a lot. And I remember um, there was some, uh, you know, some magazine or made a list of like the greatest video games of all time list a couple years ago, and Bioshock was number three. And I can definitely see why, you know, what it's done for the genre or, you know, first person RPG kind of feeling. And so again, you know, there are definitely consequences to your actions, you know, like the game tried to imply. 
And so, you know, I think games like Borderlands would be kind of the same thing. Maybe Overwatch. I haven't, I've never watched any Overwatch or anything like that. So I'm not sure how similar or different that game is than this. But it definitely is something that I can definitely see people getting into. And I am fine with that. You know, admittedly, you know, this was definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't like being scared. You know, you definitely saw my little freakouts here and there with the different kinds of splicers and stuff. But admittedly, okay, the one, you know, of, of the things that I did, did like, I've been talking about those. Of the things I didn't like, um, maybe I should have made the game more difficult for me. I was expecting that final battle to be a little more menacing. Um, of course, maybe because I was doing such a touristy route, you know, my playtime, according to Steam, is at 20 plus hours. And so, I remember I went to uh, HowLongToBeat.com and it was like, oh, you can beat this game in 10 hours. And it's like, okay, well, that was my incentive to actually try and do the LP, because I was like, yeah, if I do, you know, 20 minutes of video, I, I'll be done in about 30 videos. And I think we're about now part 40, and every video's gotten to like 40 minutes in length, so... Obviously, something messed up here, and it was mostly me. <coughs> but anyway, this game has been pretty awesome. I will admit to that. So in terms of other stuff on my channel, I'm just trying to play through as many games as I can right now over the summer while I have the time off. Uh, I will be uh, get getting back to Castle in the Darkness as well. That was the side scrolly. 91 a little while that I was doing a little bit, um, but immediately I, I was liking this one So I was like, okay, let's just keep working through it seeing what we got in here um, Obviously a lot of people to thank for making this game 2k interactive. I believe Nvidia I don't know if they're just part of the graphics team or who how that was involved But I don't think I have an Nvidia card in my laptop anymore. I don't know if I ever did I don't know. I don't even know what my video card looks like so my bad in that respect. But, <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of interesting things going on here. So, you know, I try to avoid, you know, reading up about the, you know, the, the game and the lore and all that stuff too. But I know there are obvious references here to, um, what is it? Uh, what's her name? Ayn Rand, the author. And, you know, she had titles like Atlas Shrugged and The Fountainhead and stuff. And really, those are not things that I've ever read on my own. Um, I remember there was like a high school essay contest where it was like, oh, we're in $5,000 for college if you write this essay about the fountainhead. And it's like, um, well, I like money, but I don't want to read a book. <laughs> so sorry about that. But in that respect, then, we are, I guess, I guess we're done with this game. And so I want to thank you all for watching. I know this has been a weird run, run through for most people. You know, this was my blind playthrough, so... I just was taking it super slow and casual, you know, but obviously taking all those pictures at the beginning of the game helped here at the end where I did not have to spend time hacking every little thing, you know, sideways and upside down. But that is the end of this P uh, LP, so I was going to say PC because it's right there, PC controls. <coughs> <coughs> so until the next game, this is Big Mac saying, later.